get the fuck from me. I know you thought we had something special, but you don't mean nothing to me. Girl, I'm sorry you not the one for me. Just be honest, girl, what you want from me? This ain't nothing new, keep it so one, honey. I can't let none of these niggas get one up on me. I go back, I tell you, you better run from me. Give hope to my niggas, them niggas love money. Adios to them bitches, can't get a hug from me. I'm high on life, that's what it does for me. Hey everyone, so I'm just using Fix Plus because you know you better spray that face. And I'm using my primer. Um, I'm mix face protect with skin refined zone because I'm really oily and I want a matte finish. So this is actually the perfect combination to have a matte finish. Look at the way I'm just moisturizing into my skin. I'm extra. Now I'm using Stud Eyebrow Pencil, which is my favorite eyebrow pencil. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need an eyebrow pencil that's going to just make your brows on fleek, you better get that Stud Eyebrow Pencil. Yes. <laughs> So now I'm just using Select Cover Ups Concealer NC45 to clean up my brow. Absolutely my favourite concealer to do my brows. It just always makes my brows look so super HD and clean. So I'm always using this concealer. Thanks to Paloma for that little tip that you gave me. And I'm blending that out using my 224 Blending Brush by MAC. And I've also applied Dip Down Gel just to intensify the thickness of my brow. Because y'all know I love a big thick brow. Okay? Moving on to the eyes, I'm using my favorite eye primer called Laying Low, and it's just absolutely my favorite eye primer because it just works well with all eyeshadows. It's a neutral color, so yeah, I love it so much. And I'm blending that out with my 224 blending brush, and I'm taking the eyeshadow called Texture just as a transition shade. Um, it's really easy to use because it blends well with other eyeshadows. And I'm taking Swiss chocolate to just intensify my crease a little bit. And now we're just blending that because you know it's important to blend. So I just took that Kiko eyeshadow and I just placed it in the corner of my eye just to change the colour a little bit, make it a bit more reddish. And for my eyeshadow lid, or for my eyelid, <laughs> I use this um, colour by the Maybelline palette, it's Neutrals, um, I don't know the name of it, Ugh, sorry. And I've used eyeshadow arena on my eyebrow bone, as well as my inner corner of my eye, and I'm just repeating everything over again. And after this, I'm going to do my liner, which I did off camera because it takes me a thousand years. And now I'm prepping my skin with Fix Plus first and also Strobe Moisturizer, which I love so much because it just gives that extra shine onto the skin, blending that out with my Real Techniques Blending, not Blending, Beauty Blender, sorry, my favorite product to use. I think that 90% of my makeup is done with this um, sponge. It's like magic, seriously. And it's so cheap as well, so get it if you can. My foundation routine is just mixing Studio Fix Fluid NC50 with Prolong Wear Waterproof Foundation. I'm the waterproof one in NC50 as well. Sorry, I'm laughing at my housemate right now because she was just pissing me off. And yeah, I'm blending that all over my skin with the Beauty Blender. One thing I really love about using this Beauty Blender is that it makes my foundation feel really full coverage onto my skin which is what I like my skin is fucking terrible guys like seriously if you see me on snapchat you know what I'm talking about so um I love my, for my foundation to be full coverage onto my skin so it gives a flawless application <music> 
and now I'm using Nars concealer in the shade caramel and I love this concealer it's goals literally it just really makes my under eye just seem perfect and really really full coverage which you guys know I love I'm sure everyone and their mothers know how to highlight but it's just the bridge of the nose underneath the eye the chin area and the top of the forehead as well and yeah yeah I was not doing that I was like oh no and now I'm going to apply the Prolonged Wear Concealer in NC42 just to give a boost of lightness into my under eye because, you know, I was going for that baddy look. You want that bright under eye. And I'm blending it out with the Magic Sponge, of course. Just blending it all out. I like to blend it pushing the product downwards because I find that it just spreads, trans uh, not translucently, sorry, why am I saying translucently? But it blends flawlessly all over the face. Excuse the way I'm blending it, uh, by any chance it looks like a big mess, but I, I couldn't really see it because I was looking at this really tiny mirror <laughs> in my room. So um, you just excuse that, but I promise we're going to fix that all together, so don't you worry. <laughs> Now we're using the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set the under eye and this is what I use to, I won't say bake, but I do use it to set my under eye as I'm oily like we all know and I like that matte finish of course. So the translucent powder is going to allow for my makeup to stay all day long as matte as possible um, and it also gives a very good finish. And it helps me blend my makeup as well. And I'm just retouching my um, crease area. And I use the shade Red Brick. Um, I wanted to just make it quite neater and, and nicer. And I was actually contouring with the NW58 Studio Fix Powder. This is my like contour shade that I always use. NW58 um, Studio Fix. It's just really nice and it's I don't have to use any cream products to contour anything. It gives me that effect that I want and I like. And I apply a bit of the translucent powder underneath my contour just to make it neater and um, yeah, more dramatic, I would say. I hope I'm using the right words. And I'm just cleaning all that off with the NC40 Sheer Powder just to make it all flawless and nice. Spray that face because I am fucking mad. And now we're applying a bit of highlighter in Go Deposit, my favorite highlighter. Whenever I use this highlighter, all the girls are asking me, What are you using? I'm like, Babe, it's Go Deposit. If you don't know, you have to find out. And um, it's my favorite highlighter because it just really makes my highlight pop, my skin pop. Do you know what I mean? It's all about the pop. And I touch it up with a bit of soft and gentle because, babe, it's body makeup. We've got to be like highlighted for the gods. <laughs> Duh. I'm using a bit of a blush called Raisin by MAC and I don't really use blush so I just use a really little just to give my cheeks a little bit and now I'm filling my waterline with a white pencil or a nude pencil uh, this is like my signature thing to do and I'm just applying a bit of Swiss chocolate underneath the eye My eyes are super sensitive, so I really go slow whenever I do anything in my lash line, whenever I apply my lashes, anything like that, because I go really, really, really slow. And my lashes are backstage lashes in Chelsea, and I stack them with Primax Sotry lashes. So I didn't apply this on camera because, like I said, my eyes are really sensitive, and it takes me a thousand years. And now I'm just blending that out with my 2 to 4. And now moving to mascara, I'm just applying upward lash mascara on my bottom lashes just to give my bottom lashes some oomph. And now we're going to the lips and I'm using my all-time favourite lip pencil called Chestnut Pencil. This lip pencil goes with every single nude that I own. It's my favourite because I just love using it because, duh, I need to use it. And um, I'm using another lip pencil from Superdrug. I don't know the name of it. I can't remember. I'll check again and find out for you guys. And I'm just applying that just to darken my pencil, but it didn't really work that well. And in the middle, I use Flesh Bot Lipstick, which is super bright, but I wanted that very nudish look and yeah I blended that together and I use lip gloss by MAC called um, see-through just to blend the lipstick and look at me yes <laughs> 
Can't bag your pipe, you need that pussy killed like me or even Keep the bitches behind his lips like me, I got a Hundred fucking problems Good brain, am I fucking with a scholar? Wood grain, I'ma grip it when I whip it